Welcome to the Xon Photography. We just took a look at the images from our Spain photography workshop, the greatest pictures of my life, with the Canon 5D. And now I have another old camera, very cheap, the Canon 550D, also known as the T2i. And I also just want to show you what's possible with a cheap camera and a cheap lens. Now here we have the EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Now the camera you can get for about 200, 250 euros uh, used and the lens you can get for about 200 euros new. So let's just take a look at what we can get uh, with such a combination. Now all images are edited in a couple of seconds and you can learn that in under 20 seconds you can edit these images in under 20 seconds with the 20 second workflow by Duxon which you will find soon on our Facebook uh, and on our website uh, duxonphotography.com and I just wanted to show you some images uh, that I made there with this cheap camera now again we have all these images here are done with the Canon 550D and most are done with the 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens I used to make the videos uh, where I film myself, I used to make it with this camera, but sometimes I also make some photographs with it, some wide angle uh, shots, and I think it, we got really great results here, and uh, I thought I would just show you some, because very often we are looking into the future, into what is new, uh, what is better, and sometimes you can grow with the easy stuff, with the cheap stuff. Now this is what you can get with the 200 euro camera and the 200 euro lens. Now you might find the lens for a couple euros more, the camera for a couple euros more, but you will not pay, uh, you will not pay uh, more than 500 euros for camera and lens together. Of course you could also use another camera, 600D, 650D, 700D, 750D or whatsoever. Uh, in the end it doesn't matter what camera you use and uh, you can get this kind of image quality with any camera or with any DSLR. As you see it's very bright, the, the light is nice and when the light is nice you can always get great images with actually any kind of camera. Now the editing is a, a special part that it makes a lot. Um, but it's, the editing is done very fast. So here up you see the settings, ISO 200. With this old camera you can't go too high on the ISO side, but as it's daytime uh, that's no problem. Now and what's great with this camera and lens is uh, that it's a wide angle, a super wide angle lens, so I get all of this building onto the frame uh, and I'm standing right in front of it. Now here's the cathedral in Malaga, also a really nice building and I couldn't catch it with my full frame camera because I only have the 50mm and 135mm lens. So these are just some images and as I said edited in, in a couple of seconds. Now these are, for me these are just snapshots, um, I will not do much with the images. Um, then here's uh, another shoot uh, also with the 550D but with a different lens with the 2470. That's an expensive lens. Uh, I could have also used any kind of lens and get similar results. I used the camera to make a dance video of these two people and uh, after the dance video I thought I would just take some images how they danced and I think there are some really nice, nice images. Now, when we look at videos or reviews, we often look at what's new. And uh, actually, when we look at what's new, we find stuff that is expensive. And I thought, let's take a look at some images from an old camera that we use today. Is it still manageable to get great results with a cheap camera and um, I have to say yes and maybe if you are on a tight budget um, 
just get out and shoot. It's so nice when you get great when you take images with a cheap camera because often you don't expect anything special coming out of it. Now I didn't expect much from this camera lens combination. And yet I I I have some really great images and these two, uh, Hakan and Ani, they are really thankful that I took these images of them. <coughs> And these images are all done in our workshop in Spain. Here I have some images of the house. Now this again is again with the super wide angle lens, 10 to 18 millimeters. And uh, with this lens I get nearly all of the scenery on the frame, the part of the uh, swimming pool, the house, the sky. And yeah, I thought I would just show you what's possible with a cheap camera, uh, a cheap lens and a little bit of editing, very fast, very simple, and that's it.